review that email. Also, Ruth Rademacher sent an email about from the UU Church of Peoria on May 1st that defined our bylaws update. So if you've not read that and need to understand how we're having to adjust the bylaws, uh, you might wanna do that while you wait. Or refill your coffee. <laughs> or whatever your poison is. It looks like Sonia's having trouble connecting to audio. Sonia, are you doing okay? She might have answered it. They're going to send us to break rooms. If you have any problems, you can text Chris Franklin. That not his number is in that email that the ministerial search committee sent. So if you can hear me but you're having trouble in some way, uh, Chris Franklin can be of assistance. His number's 264-1036, but again, that's um, in the email that was sent on May 1st from the Ministerial oh, Search Committee. That's Joyce, just to let you know, I have TJ Stone with me on my computer, so there's two of us here. If you get a pop-up asking you I, to move, hit, hit OK. Jeanette, hi, what's up? You OK? OK? <laughs> see if anybody's raising their hand. Looks like we're all good. I see Bernie. I see Mary and TJ. Hi. All right. Everybody's looking good and bright-eyed. Hi, Jean. Hi, Connie. Hi, Not Jean. <laughs> She's half asleep. <laughs> Hi, Anthony. Karen. Doug. Barb. Hi. Shirley. Hi. So, so were you guys practicing raising your hand or something? I, I, heard, I wasn't, this came in in the middle of you guys talking. No, uh, we're just waiting for all of the people to be assigned to different breakout rooms. And then each breakout room will have a chance to chat with Reverend Jennifer. So just uh, be patient until you're assigned into a break room, breakout room, not a break room, breakout room. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make a sign that says what Chris's call text. We've processed 19 people so far, so that's about our rate. This is the patience part, folks. You're doing good.
I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, how do I change it so that I, my name, so I can say my mom's here with me? Um, when you get into the breakout room, they will help you with that. Okay, if, perfect. If you, Thank you. If you, if you want to do it on your own, I can give you a couple tips, but I would just let them to do that for you. Yeah, uh, people can't change their own names. We're going to do that for you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, we have about 19 people in the main room still, it looks like. So you're all in the right place. You're all doing the right thing. Just uh, be patient and chat amongst yourselves. <laughs> Even though you're on mute. <laughs> Even though you're on mute, you are with other people. If you're with other people, chat with your spouse, et cetera, et cetera. Text your friends, you know, check your Facebook. If you haven't done that, you know. Oh, breathe, Austin. I look like you're guys for being patient. <laughs> I am hustling right now. Austin, you cool with me letting people in from the waiting room? Yeah, yeah. I'll do that for you then. And Linda, uh, yeah. your your co-host. Anytime you can, if you see people waiting in the waiting room, you can let them in. Um. Okay. I'm scrambling windows here. Okay. All right, we're up to, oh, we just have a lot of people. <laughs> I can't keep track of the number. <laughs> Raymond Keithley's joining. Hey, Maureen. <laughs> All right, I see Terry Malone heard my call. She went and got some more coffee. Good job, Terry. <laughs> Cause you're going to need oh. coffee. This is going to be a while folks. Keep greeting, Linda. Keep telling people. I Those, keep talking, yep. Yep, new people keep coming in. <laughs> okay, couple of repeats for folks. Sorry about this. You'll be seeing some folks repeating or renaming you. That's okay, and that's what's supposed to happen. Don't touch it, don't change it. And little sick, little secret, we made it so you can't change it. So don't even try. Um, I guess I want to say it again. What a great day for our church. This is a very important process and a very important meeting. A lot of smart people have put a lot of time into the last week or two, really, to get this uh, to work. So if you haven't already done so, please be sure you review the email that was sent on May 1st from the Ministerial Search Committee. It has the process. And Ruth Rademacher sent an email that same day from the UU church that had the bylaw change that you'll be voting on. So use your time wisely and maybe, um, again, kind of review what we're up to right now. Um, be patient. I think I've said that, but I'll say it again. Hang in there. Um, have a book to read or maybe a magazine nearby or something. Have your TV on. We're going to get you into a breakout room, and that's when you'll be able to uh, meet and greet Gen Reverend Jennifer. And then once all of us have had a chance to do that, then we will be taking a few votes uh, afternoon. 
if you have any problems, if you cannot hear us, post it in the chat that you cannot hear or raise your hand, either using the chat function to raise your hand or your hand, someone will reach out to you. Or you can text Chris Franklin, and here, there's his number, if you need to text Chris, um, and you can get help, technical help and support from Chris Franklin. All right. We are making very good progress getting everybody into the breakout room, so hang in there. All right. We're cooking, we're cooking. Yep, we're making progress. Yep. Uh, you could, couldn't they play with their background, Austin, if they wanna play with their background? Definitely. Uh, you guys can see Austin, of course, has the technology, actually has a video. Um, well, maybe he's on the beach, you know, I, I gotta give him credit. He could probably figure that out. Um, but uh, you can create your own special background. Hi, Sonia. Is your audio connected yet? Can you wave your hand if you can see me or hear me? Can you hear us, Sonia? Okay. And sorry that this isn't a uh, priority queue. I'm just randomly selecting people. So I'm sorry if you had to wait a little bit longer, but we're just getting through everybody. Oh, what are you up to, Maureen? <laughs> it looks like you're going to show me something. <laughs> okay. You're reading the obituaries. Oh, that's always a fun Sunday morning activity. I haven't seen you in a while, Maureen. Your nose is healed nicely. It looks very, very good. You can't even tell. <laughs> All right. Making progress. I see Kelly. I see Kathy. Sherry and Dave. Galen at the second master control, it looks like from his garage. So, you know, all the good work happens in the garage. Hi, Jennifer. I'm in the garage right, for the last six weeks here working. <laughs> if you haven't heard my spiel, I'll go through this again. Uh, welcome if you're just getting into the room here. Um, it's a great day for our church. Uh, very shortly, we'll be voting for our next settled minister. So thank you for being part of this process. You're going to be moved into a waiting room or a breakout room, excuse me, a breakout room with a smaller group of people. And that will facilitate us having you have a question and answer session with Reverend Jennifer. Um, we're gonna do that for a little bit before we get to the congregational vote. Uh, ask that you please mute your phone if you're not talking. Um, that will help eliminate any extra background noise. Um, uh, you will see your on-screen name edited. That's going to help us keep track of everybody. So uh, don't worry about that. In fact, you you can't do anything about it. So it's in our control. Uh, so just uh, sit back and relax. Um, if you haven't already reviewed the May 1st emails from the Ministerial Search Committee and the UU Church, they contain the bylaws update that we need to approve in order to make this all um, kosher with our, our bylaws, this electronic meeting, and also um, instructions for this meeting are in that. So if you're here, you've probably already read it, but um, if not, <laughs> please do that. If you just clicked on the link and didn't read the email, go back and read the email. <laughs> oh, we see a few em some empty chairs. I think people went to fetch some, some beverages or some snacks. All right. 
Also, if you're just joining, Austin is uh, on the beach doing all the work to sort people into breakout rooms. So don't don't text him. This is not a good time to have a conversation with Austin, but uh, just, uh, wave him, wish him best. Um, to got to get through all this. And if you see Galen, he's the co-manager, our two uh, fearless leaders in all this. Oh, Kathy's got her uke out. What a good use of time. Yes. I see a couple people chatting. Let's see what's going on. Um, So I see Barbara Peters is having an issue. Okay, hold on. Probably send her to the help room. Okay. So I'm gonna keep my little sign up while I chat. Um, part of the reason I keep talking is so that you know we're still working on it. Um, wait, I have a special guest. Steve, you wanna say hi? I see Henry's iPad. Henry's iPad hand is raised. Could yeah, somebody help Henry? Know. Galen? Yeah, I'll chat with him. I'll go on my computer too. Yep. Sixty-three people in the breakout room and the Q and A room, so we're getting right. there, guys. It sounds like a quorum could be happening. This is exciting. In fact, I've, I've seen enough triples and doubles on calls that I think we're at quorum. All right. But I'm not 100% on that. I think we have 28 people in this room, or 27 now, so we should be good. Are the, Galen, are they able to chat right now with Reverend Jennifer or we wait until everybody's sorted out before we start that? So as soon as people get uh, their membership confirmed, they will be moved into a chat with Reverend Jennifer. So, uh, All right. So that's part of the process here. Henry's raising his hand. Yeah, I messaged him privately, but I did not get a response. So maybe I'll unmute him and see if we can talk to him real quick here. Yeah. Okay. Henry, okay. you are unmuted. Can we help you with something? Yeah, was, we're both. I I'm, I, go ahead, Henry. Go ahead. Um, yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, and I'm married to. We, <laughs> let, let me do it. Henry, <laughs> I don't have, I, my name isn't up here, so we want to be sure we both get a vote. Henry and Sandy Muskimmon. Because he's Henry Kerr and I'm Sandy Muskimmon. Yeah, absolutely. You will both get a vote. Yeah, in a second, you will be moved into another room. So you'll hear an announcement or you'll see that you moved. And the person okay. in there will rename you to have both of your names uh, in it. Okay. And then you will be moved to uh, a chat with Reverend Jennifer. So thank you for asking. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Bye. Thank you. Okay, I've got that solved. Yeah, the system's working. We're getting through. Sorry for the wait, everybody. Yeah, and we got pl plenty of time. We'll probably get another wave of people at noon. It's getting close to noon. It's about 11.50. I think, I think we can make that. Okay, Linda, do you want to do yes. another spiel? We've had a few more people join. All right. Welcome to the UU uh, Church Congregational Meeting. I'm Linda Fairbanks, and on behalf of the Ministerial Search Committee, welcome to this uh, tremendous day for our church. 
So uh, we're going to be voting on our new settled minister here shortly. Thank you for again being here. It's really important that we have as much participation as possible so that Reverend Jennifer knows um, that we're giving her a, a wide open, arms open welcome. Um, be patient. There are a lot of us here and there are going to be some hiccups. This is new territory for all of us. So be patient with us and, and with yourself. We are all learning something new. Um, if you are on the phone, extra patience may be required. You might not hear anything for a while. It might be quiet. You won't hear uh, old music or other things, uh, but people will be talking to you and giving you instruction throughout the next hour. Um, if you're on a computer or a tablet or cell phone with a camera, uh, raise your hand or let us know if you're having an issue. Um, if you cannot hear us, post or post to the chat or raise your hand and we'll reach out to you. And there's Chris Franklin's uh, cell phone number should you need to, sorry, I've got something rigged here. There we go. So you can, should you need to reach out to him. So right now we're uh, getting people into breakout rooms so they can talk with Reverend Jennifer. You might see somebody changing your, your screen name and that's so we can keep track of you and how many people are participating. Um, uh, keep your phone muted unless you do need to speak or ask a question. That'll keep the noise level down. Um, and we're going to get started here with the congregational meeting very shortly. Austin Locke and Galen Fadley are our uh, tech people and are running the meeting. Don't text or call them directly because they're really busy. If you need help, uh, text or call Chris Franklin. And there's his number. His number's also in um, the email that was sent May 1st about the congregational meeting. So with that, we are getting closer and closer to having our meeting. How do we raise hands? Hi Gary, you can do it electronically by going into participants. Okay, participants, okay. Got participants. Or if you're on your iPad, it's under the iPad, dots. iPad, yes. I see who all is in here. Where you see more and the dots. If you touch that and you can see, you can raise your hand or chat. That's where you would raise okay, your hand. I just hit the dots, but I didn't see any instructions. On it. Chat, raise hand. Did it go up? No, let me see. Yeah, it did. See down here at the bottom, there's a little blue see, hand. I can't see it, but I know. Okay, I think I know how to do it now. Thank you. All right. Very good. Uh, we have a hand raised well, with a phone number. Um, I see Barb Peters on the phone trying to call. She must be talking to Chris. Uh, so we'll have um, Chris talk to that person as soon as he's done helping Barb. Gary, I'm going to lower your hand for you. All right, we have just a few more people to get assigned into break rooms, so we're making progress. I see Barbara O'Brien. I see the, I know that guy, Steve Fairbanks. I know him. Um, all right. Hi, Kim. Hi, Cinda. Jean. All right. Good to see everybody. All these smiling faces. It almost feels like church. There's Peter. Growing a beard during the quarantine, I see. Or you maybe have had that for a while. I haven't seen you in a while. Now I can talk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, even Gus made it. You know it's a good meeting if Gus Rice makes it. Are you on screen? Look, there's Gus's face. Oh, yay. <laughs> All right. Well, we really have a really wonderful turnout for this virtual meeting. This ver our very first congregational virtual meeting. So congratulations to all of you for, for being part of this. Um, on behalf of the Ministerial Search Committee, I want to thank all of you for being a part of it and showing your support for the process. If you've not already read the bylaws change that we need to approve today in order to make this um, uh, final, to finalize the um, settlement, 
the settled minister decision, please do so. Um, that was sent on May 1st, and Ruth Rademacher uh, sent that from the UU Church of Peoria email. So might want to review that. That is one of the things we'll be voting on. We'll also be voting on whether to uh, uh, call the Reverend Jennifer Innes as our settled minister. Just a quick correction. The, the bylaws are, are adequate. We just have, are approving a procedure that follows the bylaws. Is that that's better? Correct. Yeah, that's correct, Linda. It's just the ratification of the procedure. That okay. We, yeah. we all got to vote. <laughs> <laughs> Too many warehouses. <laughs> I know I can count on our uh, non 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 retired retired lawyer company, whatever. Um, another reminder: if you are not speaking, please put your phone on mute. Um, that will help make sure the person who needs to talk is heard. Um, there we go. I see another hand raised. Nope. Okay. Hi, Robin. Yep. Are you Austin, trying to unmute? You're bad. Are you trying to unmute, unmute Robin? Are you Austin trying to is bad, 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 bad. Look at that backdrop. <laughs> that is a backdrop, right? No, Austin's really on the beach. Are you kidding me? Yes, I'm kidding you. <laughs> For those just coming in, sorry, we're just dealing with this and I have got so much to do right now, but thanks for being patient. <laughs> Robin Lyons, you are unmuted. Did you have a question? Yes. How, when we get to voting, uh, people come around here, but I just don't see, will that happen later? Because I just see my name there. Very good question. So part of the process that Austin's working on right now is to send everyone into a breakout room and when you get into that breakout room, that host will give you a new name and that will include you and Keith. So awesome. they will they will ask you and they will make that change for you. Perfect. Okay, I'll go back to unmute them. All right. Thanks, Robin. Thanks, thanks. Barbin, Barbin Bradley Adams. Do you guys see do you guys see something on your device like an okay or something? I'm trying to move your two rooms and it won't let me. It says you're in a different room, but. Would you guys mind dropping on the call and rejoining real quick? Sure. Thanks. Barb Peters, can you hear me? Hi, Barb. Can you hear me? Hi, Barb. Can you hear me? Barb, can you hear me? Nope. Okay. Hi, Mary Ann. Hi, Robert. <laughs> all right, you're all doing a great job being patient. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. Will be important for as many people as possible to stick around until the vote so we can be sure and have a quorum um, and, and get this done, so. Uh, maybe now's the time to explore some of your uh, tools. If you don't know how to chat online, you can look, at, look for the tools in the, under Parsis participants or under more if it, depending on what device you're on and that will uh, help you see how to participate um, or you can use this chat sidebar mine's on 
the right hand side, which is very inconvenient for left handed people. And I will tell you, I have researched to death how to move my toolbar and I've not discovered how to do that, but I'm sure there's a way. All right, we're working through all the people. We're getting there. Um, while you guys are waiting here, Jennifer is talking with some other members of the congregation and getting the Q&A, so we're progressing through that. Okay, Barb and Bradley, you guys ready? I've had some trouble with you, so I'm gonna try it right now. You should be going to Amanda, okay? If something pops up, hit, hit okay. Yay! Barb Peters, can you hear me? Okay. Linda, can you hear me? It's Sally. Hi, Sally. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. I've done something right. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a great job. <laughs> you should text her. Okay, things are going great. Thanks for being patient, guys. We're yep. getting through the list. Hey, Barb, are you on a phone call as well as your computer, or are you just using your computer? Okay. Looks like she's on the phone. Okay, two uh, 215-7203, I'm having trouble with your phone. Um, I'm going to put you back in the waiting room and see if I can fix that. If, if, if you get hung up on 215-7203, just call back, please. I know there's a lot of UU gardeners out there who are loving this beautiful weather. You're probably like me, wanting to get back out there in the middle of the Sunday afternoon, but it's time to take a break. It's time to sit with your congregation for a little while and do the vote. So thanks for your patience. You're all hang hanging in there really well. Two one five, can you hear us? I can hear you. Could you? Oh, that's Barb. Uh, okay. Hi, Barb. Can Can you hang up I, and call? <laughs> oh, is this Barb Adams? Barb Peters. No, Barb Peters. Barb Peters. She's I on see. screen under Barb Peters. I see you in and here. And she's twice. also on the phone. So can you, Austin? Can you send both of those to the help? They need to get joined together. Okay, I am sending them to Zoom help now. All right, you're all going to be Zoom experts when we're done with this. You can actually maybe start a small business to help other people learn how to do Zoom, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just don't call Austin or Galen. They're going to be so done with this. <laughs> no, I can't hear you. No, I can't hear you. Uh, Ginny? That was Barb. Oh. Barb, Barbara. So I think Barb's phone is still with us, but her device is still with the other. So, uh, Barb, you can hear us, right? I can hear you. Barb, so what has and happened? Chris, I see Chris, I see on the screen. Yeah, so you can see Chris. So what's happened is that your uh, basically your telephone and your uh, device are not joined together. So right. uh, what you see is different than what you hear. So uh, <laughs> do you? I guess the do you need to use the telephone for the audio? Is that your best option? 
Well, unless you can tell me how to get audio on my computer, it says okay. that now, yeah, this, um, uh, I cannot use computer audio and I need to go through my browser, which is Firefox, but I don't know how to yeah, do that. Yeah, now this will work. So uh, I think you're probably going to have to drop and rejoin, but when you, you should have an option to use telephone audio and it will give you a participant ID. And then you, yeah, when I you call in that. on the phone, okay. you need to actually enter the participant ID. And then your phone and your computer will be tied together and you will be appear as one person. Are you comfortable doing that? Okay. So uh, go out and start all over again. Yeah, but when the, you come back, the, when you click telephone audio, or you can just stay only on the phone. Because uh, otherwise- That you sounds be, like yeah. a better option, Galen. Yeah, yeah I, I don't want to, I don't want to jeopardize the vote. And so I can just do it on the telephone. Okay. So yeah, that'd be best if you drop okay. off because otherwise you'll be given the option to vote twice. So. Well, see, that's not totally bad. <laughs> um, <Yeah. laughs> it is a, it, only in Illinois, Barbara, can you vote twice? I, well, okay. I know that, I know that. I was telling Chris, <laughs> I said, vote often. You know? <laughs> um, so should I just, um, should I just close down my laptop? Yes. Do I have to say leave meeting? Do I have to say leave meeting? Galen? What was that? Should Barbara leave the meeting from her computer or can she just close it? Well, it's probably safer to leave it. Uh, okay. Austin, can you move that telephone number though? Is that, is it, she's stuck in the main room? What number is it? The 215 one that you were. 215, it says it's not joined right now, but I also see Barb Peters and Zoom help. So I think the phone, Barb, is this your iPad or is this your phone that you're talking on? My phone. And it's a cell phone. Oh, yeah. It says that it's not joined. Um, it, it sounds like she's. Do you, I guess, Austin, do you have the power to join a, an, like a phone to a device as host? I might, but I'm not sure how to do that off, off on the fly. Yeah, let's not do it now. No, sorry. Do I set the. Well, listen, I don't want to be a big problem. Why don't you just X <laughs> out of the. Um, computer and just be on phone. Okay, and That'd worst case, perfect. you may have to call back on the phone if there's a problem. Okay. But hopefully you stay with us. Alrighty. All right, it's about quarter after 12. Um, we're making our best effort to get everybody a chance to say uh, hi or greet Reverend Jennifer. And then Nora Sullivan will conduct a congregational meeting shortly. So um, if you're not in a breakout room yet, just please be patient. Austin and Galen are working on that. Um, I think everybody's doing a real good job of finding something to keep them busy till we can get it all settled. I think we're pretty close to done here. Okay. Um, Austin, who are the, it looks like there's four people left. Yeah, the, I think that these, that the, the people that are left have, if you can hear me, people that are left. That's Sandy, Greg Barta, <laughs> and Zinni. Gregory, we had... I have already moved you, but Zoom didn't take. So Sandy and Gregory and Ginny, can you um, can you leave the meeting and come back in real quick? Is that okay? Because okay. I I'll leave you, Greg Barta. Yep, thank you. And Sandy, can you can you uh, leave the meeting and come back in? Hi, Sandy. Sandy might have done the audio trick too. Hi, Sandy. I can hear you. Okay, you're talking about me. Yeah. Can you can you leave the meeting and come back in? Okay, I will. Thank you. There's something wrong with when I moved you. It's something happened. Okay, hold on. Ginny, can you hear me? Ginny, can you leave the meeting and come back in? Can you hear me? Ginny. Yep. Yeah, Ginny, I can hear you. Okay, yes, I can. Okay, it looks like we've got Greg Barta back and I'm going to see if I can assign him now. Thanks, Greg, that uh, we're working to reassign you now. I'm going to just let his thing connect to audio real quick. Okay, going to Terry. 
Sandy's back. Sandy's back. Hi, Sandy. Thanks for doing this. Okay, Sandy is back, but did it work? I just, oh, there you are, good. Okay, I'm sending you to Joyce. Okay, and then we've got a telephone caller. Who's on the phone? Anna Marie Du Miller. Hi, okay, we're gonna send you to a room here, Marie, Anna Marie. Thank you for calling, Anna Marie. All right, well done. So we have Jenny that might come back. So let's wait 30 seconds and then, or we could just deal with her as, well, if she comes before we finish processing, how's the processing going, Austin? Are the subrooms empty? Um, Zoom help is not empty. We've got Denise Durrell and Sue and Bob Swanson. I don't know what to do about them. Let's ask Chris. Let's try to Oopsies. I'm responding to Nora Austin. Okay. Well, it worked. <laughs> Six, okay, could somebody look up 68591? 6859419. What is that? Okay, we have a telephone number. I'm letting them in. Oh, yeah. Hello, welcome to our congregational meeting. You will be moved into a breakout room shortly. Who's on the 685 number? I don't know. That's in. Oh, oh they're muted. Okay. Well, I don't have a move to on them. So I think that they're not in, but that the status thing says green. So the only two people I have, oh, there's one more guest I'm going to move to. Amanda. So, do we, Denise and Bob, Sue and Bob Swanson, are those people, what should we do? Just start the meeting and... and well, I, I would think that Denise could join Kim Farland. They're in the same, well, maybe they're not in the same location. Um, we could, I could message Kim and say we're having trouble with Denise's phone, I mean, Denise's line. I mean, they can join by phone, like if they have a regular telephone. It's not great, but... I think we need to um, get going. Yeah, we need to move forward. So or should we send them the instructions on how to join by phone or someone call them? I can call. Okay. Denise and Bob Swanson. Um, Bob Swanson's gone. But he might um, need to be. Amanda is still got. Holly Cook. Okay, Amanda's done. All right, closing out. Uh, Denise Durrell is the only thing. I'm closing all the rooms. Wait. We good? No? Okay. It's I'll fine, wait. but we just need to tell these guys. Rooms. Just so they don't transport magically, just so they get a warning. And after. Oh, Jenny's back. Do you want to let her? Oh. Do a trick real quick. I'm going to assign her to Amanda because she's the best. Oh, oh, Jenny, are you there? It says she's connecting to audio. Hi, Jenny, are you there? 
Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. I I'm so sorry. I'm on. If anybody remembers dial up, I think I'm on a dial up. I'm on some kind of a foreign. <laughs> Jenny, let's just do. What's your last name, Jenny? It's Gunner. G U N N A R. Okay, I see you. All right. Done. I just announced that we're done. Okay, do closing, need... closing the room, and I'm demoting co-hosts except for Galen and Lindy, and Chris Franklin. Okay. Right. Do I need to be moved into a room? I hear nope. Nora talking nope. on Steve's. We'll pull everything back in. Fabulous. Closing okay. now, right, Galen? Yep. Why is there a timer on it? Yeah, breathe, breathe, yeah. deep breath. Austin, awesome. on the start. phone, make sure you disable that before you go into the room. Otherwise, you have to wait the phone people every time. I did disable it. Okay. Welcome back, everyone. Hello, everybody. We're pulling everybody back into the main room. Austin, have... I did not get that last person. Yes, uh, we did it manually. Their oh. audio disconnected. Everyone is muted. Everybody is muted. So if you could just bear with us, Let's hold on. We are trying to get everybody back in the same room. So how about uh, our being marked on the attendance list? I can take care of that. Or you can mark yourself. Wow, guys, we did so good. Thank you for being patient, everybody. We have 143 callers right now. Yay. Wow. Yay. Yay, us. Yes. Yay, us. Good for them. Double. Nora, I'm trying to unmute you, but it will not let me. You may need to unmute yourself. Okay, can you all hear me? Can hear you. Yes, yes. Well, yippee. We really want to thank the technical people. You don't know how many hours has gone. I hear a little kid talking. Sorry, that was mine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Hopefully you can all hear and we can see a lot of you and I just want to welcome you all and thank you for your patience. You've all been great new use, working hard to stick with this. So welcome to our special congregational meeting. Our main purpose here today is to vote to call Reverend Jennifer Innes in accordance with our church bylaws. But first, Linda Fairbanks is going to take over a little bit here and she's going to provide an explanation of the process we will be using to vote. Hey, Linda. All right, the voting process will be different for users who have called in on the telephone or for those who have called in on their computer or cell device. Telephone users will be in a special breakout room where they will be asked verbally, uh, individually, and as confidentially as possible for their vote. Uh, they will and you, others will receive instructions in the breakout rooms you are in. Uh, for all attendees who have a video screen, we'll be using the poll function on Zoom. So this will be new, but it's very easy. When we launch a poll, it will automatically appear on your screen. You will select your answer and then touch or click submit. Be aware that you may see multiple questions. Make sure that you've scrolled down in case you are missing a question. You have to answer all of the questions before you will get a submit button. And so just be sure that you've checked through all of the questions. Uh, for example, you might see a question that says, is there a second person there? You have to answer that before you get the submit button. You might see, is there a third person there? And you have to answer that before you get to the submit button. So even if you're by yourself, you may have multiple questions to answer, but it should be very simple and very clear. We're going to do uh, an experiment first to kind of check. Hi, Linda, can you give us a second? Yes. Austin needs to be ready to take the phone people out. Of course. Yes. Is Lindy, Lindy Peterson staying co-host? Uh, no, that should be removed. Okay. Almost there. Please.
please stand by. Okay, only two people are co-host me, uh, me and Galen. I think we're ready. Okay, so you're ready to talk to the phone people? No, I am not, okay. sorry. Okay. I have to assign them. So if anybody on the phone remembers the early days of MTV, I had to tease Austin that he reminds me of Max Headroom when he has the background. So who remembers Max Headroom? Uh, okay, I'm ready. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, Austin is ready. Um, so we're ready to do our first poll. Uh, Linda, maybe let's let Austin leave with those that group and maybe reread the instructions since it's been a while. Okay. Thank you. Um, there is a late arriver. So yeah, Austin will have to deal with that later. Okay. Because Chris let, has to stay with us. I'll let them wait. Okay. I am opening up the breakout rooms and taking telephone people with me. Hi, All guys. right. Then will you go Bye. on mute? Will you mute? He will vanish. Or, I will oh, vanish. he will vanish. Okay. Bye, Max Headroom. I'm going to wait till he's gone and then I'll say it again. So you may hear repetition here, folks. All right. So the voting process that we're gonna use for this meeting will be different for users who called in on the telephone or those who are using a computer or mobile device. Austin just joined the telephone users who will be placed in separate breakout rooms where they will be asked individually and confidentially for their votes. You will receive instructions in, when they are in the voting breakout room. I think that means the telephone people can hear me, so I'm just counting on that. Uh, for all the other attendees that I can see, uh, you'll be using the poll function on Zoom. We're going to launch a test poll, and it will automatically appear on your screen. Uh, I think all of you heard my earlier explanation. Make sure you answer all of the questions, even if they might not appear to apply exactly to your situation. Please answer all the questions. All right, so Galen, are we ready for our first poll? Yes, we are. I'm launching it all now. All right. Here comes the poll, everybody. We kept that first one really simple. <laughs> now Galen's gonna watch for the results to come in and make sure everyone can hear us and that everyone is present. We are getting there. We have about 115 of 140 people voting. If you still see the poll, it means you have not successfully submitted it yet. Um, I'm getting a FaceTime call. No. Maybe don't answer. <laughs> <laughs> we do have two people that uh, have said no, that they cannot hear us. Okay. So, uh, so definitely keep the sign up like you had there. Okay. Give everyone another 20 seconds here. The number has stabilized at 117 out of 140. Wow, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Do have someone in the chat wanting help, Lindy? Maybe you can answer. Okay, I am ending the poll. Looks like we had one mistaken. No, they just clicked on the wrong one. So I'm going to go back on camera. Perfect. So. All right, congratulations everybody. You've done your first Zoom poll. Applause all around, yay. Yeah, wave hands, good bear, thank you. Reminding us, that is an option. Um, all right, so how do we do, Galen? How many we had we have? 117 people that could hear us, two people that could not hear us, one person clicked no by mistake, they told us in the chat. So well done. All right, Nora. 
Are you ready for the next part? Nora, can you hear me? Nora, can you unmute yourself? Nora, you are unmuted from my end. Okay, I can, I'm unmuted now, thank you. All right, thank you very much. You see, that was not too, too scary. Now at this time, that was a practice poll. So at this time now, we need to establish a quorum by taking another poll with the help of our technical team. Please remember that only voting members may participate in the votes. All right, Linda, you're gonna provide instructions for this one. All right, so this is the one that's gonna be a little more complicated that I mentioned earlier. You're gonna get a poll to determine, uh, again, if there's a quorum. Some of you are in couples or you have more people with you. So this is the part where we're going to take count. Um, so we are ready to run poll number two to Galen, I believe. Everybody ready? Okay, I'm launching the poll now. Oh, we're up to 118. We got another person this time, 19. Everybody is doing a fantastic job. Thank you again for your patience. Thank you for being part of this new technology. Um, and thank you for being part of an important vote um, in the history of our church. We are at 120. I will go ahead and leave the lines up another 30 seconds here. I just had a funny thought. This is being recorded for posterity. Won't it be interesting 50 years from now when people look back at this? and think, wow. <laughs> Who knows, they might think, oh, they used to meet in person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna close the poll, 120 people voted. Okay, so right. at this point, we are going to wait for the results from the telephone booth. Uh, they may okay. already be in actually. So we have 73 people with one person on the vice, 41 people, two people on the vice, two people, three people on the vice, and three or more, four people. Uh, so I am happy to announce that we have a quorum. Yay, wonderful. Very good. Very good, everybody. All right, Nora, on to the next question. Uh, actually, we have some oh. housekeeping we're going to have to deal with, sorry. Uh, okay. Because we have a number of people that have more than three people on the device, uh, and the polls cannot accommodate that, uh, we need to find out who those people are. So if they could raise their hand now or post into uh, the chat field, uh, uh, you guys will actually be moved into the telephone voting situation and you will vote uh, by voice that way. So I'm not seeing anything in the chat. Oh no, Did something? Where'd everyone go? Oh, never mind. sorry. Huh. I searched for Nora, so she was the only one on my list. Okay, so let's, sorry, I got to let lost to know we can end, we can bring people back. So once again, we need to know if you have more than three people calling in from your device or accessing from your device, please text or please use the chat feature or raise your hand. So we have a couple hands raised.
Lindy, are you able to take care of it by chat or should we just talk to the people right now? There's only a few people. Mm -hmm. I unmute you, Lindy. I haven't seen anything come up on the chat. Um, I'm happy to take uh, things by chat as they come, but I haven't seen anything come up yet. Okay, so we have, um, my participant window isn't big enough. I can't see the name, sorry. I'm here is, uh, so, so Austin, welcome back, everyone. We have a quorum. Uh, we had a few people that have more than Galen, three devices. Galen, can I pull the phone people in and close out the breakout, breakout rooms first? Yes. Okay. Closing all rooms. And the telephone users should be with us now. And you can keep going, Galen. Okay. Um, so I think we need right now, we need to understand who has more than three people on a device and we need to move them over to the telephone voting system. So there's two people where their hands raised. I will unmute Harry first. Here. I can't remember what they said. Harry, do you have more than two voting members on your device? Are you saying Harry or Henry? Sorry, it's Henry. Henry. Uh, we don't, that was a mistake. So okay, no problem. That makes life easier for us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mute, lower your hand and mute you again. I don't see anyone else with their hand raised or posted to the chat. So I'm hoping this other, there were three other votes for more than three users. So if you could please reach out to us. Pound nine or pound six or something. Oh, I need to. I will mute you, don't worry about it. Um, okay, so I, I mean, if we can't find out, we'll just continue, I guess, and assume that it was just an error. So let's do that. Sorry, it's all yours, Nora. All right, okay, we have a quorum. We have yay. a great group. so yay, and that means that we can do business, all right. At this point, I want to say that our board secretary, Ruth Rademacher, is on the call. She will be keeping minutes of this meeting. It will also be videoed. If you see the minutes, please email Ruth Monday. Somebody the phone ringing out of there. Okay. So, so if you're remembering Hello. at our meetings, somebody is. Oh, we asked. I'm her, in a meeting. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm muting everybody. All right. All right, so Ruth will be taking notes and at our in-person meetings, we usually get five volunteers who volunteer to uh, read the minutes to make sure they're correct. If you are willing to do that, please email Ruth Rademacher or me and we'll make sure you get a copy of those minutes to review. All right, um, as you know, we're holding this meeting electronically via Zoom rather than in person because of COVID-19 and the governor's stay at home order that is currently in place. We want you to know that we would much, much rather be together in person and we will do so again when the public health officials and the governor advise that it is appropriate and safe to do so. Please note that at the next congregation meeting that is in person, we will ratify all the votes that have been taken today. At the Zoom board meeting that we held last Monday, the board approved a ratification and a resolution to provide notice of this meeting and to conduct the election of our new settled minister electronically. And we are calling this person the minister, a settled minister, that is the new terminology in our bylaws. It refers to a permanent minister, so we're using those interchangeably. Okay, this document, the ratification resolution, was sent out via flock note on Friday for you to read. The board feels that doing these actions electronically are in compliance with the church bylaws and Robert's rules of orders, considering the circumstances. So at this time, on behalf of the board, I so move that the congregation approve this ratification and resolution, and I would like a second. Second. Okay, thank you. All right, now at this point, is there any discussion about this motion. If there is no discussion, then 
we will proceed to take a vote to approve this motion. And Linda will take over from here and explain again how we're going to take this poll to approve this motion. Linda. All right, thank you, Nora. So the poll is going to be a little different from the first two polls because it will have a separate question for each individual in your group to answer. So if you are two or three or more, we need to know a vote from each of those individuals. For example, if there are two people using the same computer, the first person will answer the first question for person one, and then it will prompt the answer for question from person two and person three. It'll be, I think, very obvious, um, but it sounds like you guys, uh, I think, are gonna be prepared for this. After you answer all of the questions, uh, you hit the submit button. And I believe this is the case where if I'm here by myself, I'm still gonna have to say there's not a second person and there's not a third person. So be ready. Um, I think Galen is ready to launch. And again, raise your hand or speak up if you have any issues, but we're going to go now with poll number three on the wait, bylaw. Wait, 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 wait. We need wait. to have Austin take the phone people out. So. Oh, thank you, Austin, sorry. Okay, I'm also uh, taking the late arrivers and Chris, you will be helping them in your own breakout room. Austin, they will never be able to come back. Why is that? Because once they're in a breakout room, they're always in the breakout room when you open them. Uh, well, then I can take their phones by- Yeah, you had to take their vote by phone. Yeah, yeah. So Chris, uh, label them zero T, please. Okay, opening up the breakout rooms for the phone voters. We will launch the poll as soon as that happens. Let Standing me, by. Let me leave just a second. Yep. Okay, Austin and the phone people are gone. I will launch the, the poll. like everybody's doing okay yeah we're up to 80 participants in this poll okay good all right everybody keep breathing we got two more to go and we'll be done you're doing awesome we saved the big best vote for last so you got to hang in there with us Okay, I will give it another probably 20 seconds here. We're, oh, we had a big jump. We're at 110. Okay. Okay, we're up to 114 with a minute and 30 seconds. I will end the poll. <laughs> Fairbanks, always a comedian. Okay, we have to wait on the telephone people. While we wait, I do want to mention something. Uh, we had uh, we had zero people vote no on question one, but we had three people. And, and then four people vote no on question two and three. Most likely these are false negatives. 
Uh, these are people that are not on the device, but, but voted. So please be aware of that. If you, there is not a second or per, third person on your device, make sure you pick the first option, which is there is no person two on this device or there is no person three on this device. I'm going to let the telephone people know that we are done with our portion. Nora, I think you're supposed to be entertaining us. <laughs> well, I was thinking of some jokes. I am so glad that uh, my, my roots all grew out, and so I don't have to worry about getting my hair done. Uh, I know people have been very worried about their hair, and that it has been uh, a mad rush to the drugstore to find uh, at-home, do-it-yourself hair coloring. So I'm sure... Uh, there are a few of you out there that have done that. Uh, I'm not worried about my hair. <laughs> so, uh, gosh, I should have some uh, quarantine jokes. I do want to say that I appreciate you all for hanging in with us. This is very complicated because we're trying to do this as legally and as officially as possible so that there is never a question. I also want you to know that our bylaws state that we can call a minister with three-fourths of the congregation wanting the minister to be called. However, in the world of ministers, they want a vote of 95% because they want to know <clears throat> that the congregation, <clears throat> excuse me, that the congregation they're going to really wants them essentially and so we're looking for at least a 95% vote, though, boy, it'd be great to have a 100% vote. But we know that you need to vote your conscience, and she's looking for that as well. So we are, we are getting to the end of this, and to the end of this meeting. And after we have the vote and it's announced, then Reverend Jennifer, and it sounds like the whole family will be joining us. Her husband is Patrick. Her son is Nate, and the daughter is Abby. So it'll be good to see them all together. <laughs> We're just... How are you, Dave? Uh, the telephone people had to take care of some latecomers too, so uh, they are working through that. <clears throat> Lots of chats. Linda's video is spotlighting, meaning her video stays on the screen no matter who is speaking. So does that mean it's like a puppet show? <laughs> I'm speaking and Linda's, show, Linda's face is showing? I hope not. That's, yeah. All right, as soon as we have the telephone folks coming in. Oh, here, Dave Grebner is offering a joke. We can always count on Dave. Okay, let me unmute him. Yeah. <laughs> what do you call a very tall minister, a maxter? Thank you, <laughs> Dave Grebner. <laughs> Okay, mission control, how are we doing? I have not heard back from Austin yet. Austin? He was in not orbit. Be... We're hoping to pull him back in. Looking at the results, everyone has voted, so. All right, well, let me tell you what's going to happen soon. Soon, I am going to turn the floor over to Lindy and the Ministerial Search Committee, who will provide a little background to how we got to where we are today.
And after that presentation, then there will be a motion to call and a second. And then we will have an opportunity for discussion. And Linda will provide some information about how, if you want to participate in that discussion, how you can do so. I have an update. There's three more telephone votes to be taken. Okay. So I'm looking at chats that are coming in. How do we answer question about is there a second person for Greg? You would answer no, there is not a second person because you're the only person that is calling in. Just to be clear, you don't answer no, that votes no. You answer there is no second person on this device. Right, right. Good question. Hopefully that's clear to everyone. All right. So the question is, when it asks if there is a second person on the device, if you are the only one on the device, you would answer no. There is not a second person. But you don't answer no. No, they don't answer no. There is a, one of the choices says there is not a second person on this device. Right, right. The only There's time you should ever answer no is if you don't want okay. a minister. Right. Is that clear as mud? Sorry to confuse it. Okay, I think they're going to come back. They are done. All right. Okay, I'm going to unmute Lindy. She will be speaking next. But uh, Nora, you, the telephone people will not have heard your little introduction, so you'll need to repeat that. Okay, is everybody back now? Austin is back, but the oh. telephone people are not back. Should I close the rooms? Yes. Yes. Okay, I am closing them. I will have to remute everybody after I do it. Okay. Nora, I will unmute you and then I will unmute Lindy as well. Okay. Okay, I think we're ready to continue. All right, thank you all again. And at this point, I'm going to ask the fantastic Minister Search Committee Chair, Lindy Peterson, to come forward. And I also want to thank the members of the Minister Search Committee, Kathy Carter, Linda Fairbanks, Amanda Franklin, Mary Keister, Austin Locke, and Dave Wiesner. This team has been working closely together for nearly a year and they have had a wonderful experience, I hope. But I'm at this point going to turn the floor over to Lindy. Thanks, Nora. Um, so, on behalf of the search committee, I'd like to thank everybody in the congregation for the trust that you've placed in us. Uh, it's been an honor to represent this church during the search process, and we've worked hard for the last 10 months to make good on that trust. Uh, we're very pleased that our search has ended with bringing Reverend Jennifer Innes as our candidate for minister. Um, from the very first reading of her ministerial record, we were impressed with the depth and the breadth of her experience. In the 20 years since she's been ordained, she's ministered to congregations in the Southeast, in Texas, and in Illinois. Uh, in our first interview with Reverend Jennifer showed that she was knowledgeable and passionate about people and the way a congregation works. We were impressed when we met her in person during pre-candidating by her enthusiasm for Peoria uh, and our church in particular. She demonstrated skill in both pastoral care and preaching, and she wasn't afraid to ask questions. Since becoming our candidate, she's proven again and again that she was the right choice by showing leadership and flexibility while we're all figuring out how to operate during a pandemic and social distancing. She's been willing to double the length of time for her candidating, and over the last 15 days, she's created two completely virtual church services. She's contributed to the search committee's planning and the logistics of this. And she has attended well over 25 hours of Zoom meetings so she could meet as many people in this congregation as possible. I want to note we've been doing this for about an hour and a half. I can't imagine anyone who's better prepared or more dedicated to be the minister of this church. She is the right person in the right place at the right time. Therefore, on behalf of the minister's search committee, I move to elect the Reverend Jennifer E. Innes as a settled minister, known in our bylaws as a permanent minister, 
of the Universalist Unitarian Church of Peoria, Illinois, and that this congregation's call be extended to Jennifer E. Innes to become the settled or permanent minister for the Universalist Unitarian Church of Peoria, Illinois. Is there a second? I second the motion. Is that Joyce? Joyce Rosenberger seconds the motion. Thank you. The motion to call Reverend Jennifer has been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? And at this point, Linda will explain how discussion can take place. Go Linda. Unmute Linda, please. I tried, let's see how it works. Linda, you should be able to unmute yourself now. Yep, I'm unmuted go. now. Thank you, Lindy. Thank you, Nora. So before we take the call uh, to finish that, we need to make sure we know who's present. So we're gonna do two votes. The first vote- Linda? Just, yes? This is how they're going to ask questions. We're not voting yet. Oh, sorry. I don't have that. I guess now we ask questions. Anybody has any final questions on- Lindy will tell us. Laura? You will Lindy? ask- Okay. Please I, can, I can do this part. Yeah, go ahead, Lindy. Um, so in order to do the discussion, everybody's already muted. Um, if you would like to speak, this is the part where you virtually raise your hand. Um, if, hopefully, if you have a participant's window open, you should see a raise hand button at the bottom of the list. If you are a telephone caller, you can press star nine. Also, uh, you can put in the chat that you'd like to speak, or if you have a question for uh, the search committee or for Nora, you can also put that in the chat. And we're going to limit the, the questions to 15 minutes. 15 minutes total, not each person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Galen, do you wanna uh, mute and unmute people? Yeah, so I will mute and unmute people uh, if they raise their hand. Lindy will also be fielding questions from the chat field. So Lindy will read your question out of the chat field. We will just alternate. Nora wanted to be unmuted, so I will unmute Nora. Nora, you're unmuted. You should be able to talk, speak if you need to. Okay. I've lost my screen for, oh, there's there. Are. Any chats? I you're see live. That we have several people who have their hands raised. Okay, perfect. Nora, did you want to say something or just be unmuted? I just wanted to be unmuted. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's start with the first, the first question from Nancy Murphy. Ed and Nancy. You are unmuted, Ed and Nancy. Go ahead and ask your question. Uh, the question that we had uh, was a long time ago because we couldn't get into this idiot system. So since I've got the floor, uh, I can't say it enough nice things about the people trying to make this work, system work, and I can't say enough bad things about the system. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we agree. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I guess I'll be panelist here. Uh, the next question comes from Henry Curran and Sandy. You are unmuted, Henry. Go ahead and ask your question. Oh, this is, Sa this is Sandy, but we did not have it. That was from a while back when we couldn't figure out how to do the yes or no because there were two participants, but okay. it looked like only one, so sorry. I, we, I think we have to figure it out. Now. Thank you. All right, the next question is from Marcus Fogliano. Go ahead, Reverend Marcus. Uh, it's just a procedural question. Is it possible when the poll goes up um, to actually read the poll out uh, to, to try to avoid any confusion about person two and person three? And just for accessibility for folks, if anyone has difficulty reading. I'm yes, sure. that is a very good point. I will read the question. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus. Our last question so far is from Barbara Pierce. Barbara, you are unmuted. Do you have a question? Yes, I do. Uh, from the search committee, have you talked to the Reverend uh, regarding what her long-term commitment is to this church? Like, will she be here for 20 years? <laughs> okay. Um, yes, we have talked to her about this. And I will say that the way ministry is, um, is working out these days, it is not recommended 
for ministers to stay for 20 years. However, she has committed to at the very least five years. Um, that's the minimum that the UUA is, is asking for ministers to, to commit to. Uh, she has also said that she is hoping that she'll be here for longer than that. So uh, she would be very happy to be here a decade or more if everything works out. Wonderful, thank you. Okay, is there any more questions? If you're on the phone, please press star nine to ask a question on the phone. But it does not look like anybody else has raised their hand. And All right. I think yeah, we're ready to proceed. Nora, real quick, we've got a lot of we've got a lot of latecomers, so the telephone poll will take a while. Okay. All right. At this time, then, we're going to take another poll. And this poll is to see who is with us so we know how many will be voting. And Linda is going to explain this again and needs to be unmuted. And before Linda does that, I think it's time to open up the telephones and take the telephone people in the late arrivers into their own room. That's correct. So, correct. And I will leave now and telephone people will be coming with me. Linda, I have unmuted you. All right, right, thank you, Galen. So I think we're all ready to vote for, for this, but before we do that, like uh, Nora said, we wanna make sure we know exactly how many are still present. Uh, Reverend Jennifer Innes would obviously like to have a clear picture of the number of votes in her favor for the settlement. And so we wanna know how many are here to make sure we know that percentage. And also we know that some people have had to leave during the meeting and we need to have a clear count for who's still here. Um, so this poll will ask for each person on the device if they are present. We will now run our poll to verify who is present. So Galen, I don't know if you want to restate that as you poll, but yeah. the, go yes, ahead. I will, read the, I will read the poll as we go through it. So I'm going to launch the poll. And then as I answer it, I will read each question because I will only see one question at a time. So the poll is launched. The first, the first question is person one, are you present? Yes or no? The second question is person two, are you present? The first answer is there is no person two on this device. The second answer is yes. The third answer is no. The third question is person three, are you present? The first answer is, there is no person three on this device. The se second answer is yes. The third answer is no. Okay, somebody has asked if once they do this vote, they can leave the meeting. And the answer to that question is no, we need you to stay on for one more. The next poll is the final and it is the binding vote to call Reverend Innes. So we need you to hang in there. As you can see, things are going pretty quickly now. And so we will have a final poll here in a few minutes as soon as this one is collated. And then we will have our vote for Reverend Ennis. And at that point, we will then ask her to join us. And she will have a few words. We will need her family. She will have a benediction. Then I will need somebody to make a motion to adjourn and second that to adjourn the meeting. So we are we are close. Thank you all so much. This has been a very challenging experience during this time, but I think as you use we have we have uh, forged ahead and we have succeeded. We have conquered it. And the end result is that we're going to have a fantastic new settled minister for our congregation. Okay, so I am ready to close this poll. Uh, we will open the next one very shortly. We do not have to wait for the telephone people to come back. Okay, and let me say that after this vote is counted, please do not leave. We have one more vote. And if, if you need to leave after that, that would be fine. But hold on for one more vote. Okay, I've closed the poll. I'm tabulating the results now. People are doing much better about not answering no on the second and third question. So we only had one person this time. So.
Okay, Linda. All right. All right. Do we have our, you have our number? For our nope. well, we present? don't need a number, but we do have a number of those who are present. Okay. And so, would you like to hear it? <laughs> so, yes. No. It's a hundred. Oh. <laughs> okay, whatever. 172. We're doing amazing. Wow. Wow. This is the biggest congregational meeting we've had in my six years as president, maybe ever. So thank you all for hanging in there. All right, now are the phone people back yet? No, they do not need to be back for this vote. They will be, the, they're already voting on this, the, the, the main order of business. Okay. All right, so we have confirmed our quorum earlier and now we know how many are present. So now it is time for our momentous vote on our new settled minister. Linda, again, please provide instructions. Um, again, thank you for hanging in there. Everyone take a deep breath. <sighs> It's been fun to be together, actually. I'm enjoying this. I hope you are too. So um, using this new tool, and thank you for your help in allowing us to get as accurate a vote as possible, we will now run our poll to vote on whether to call Reverend Jennifer Ennis as our new minister, and Galen will read out the call on the vote. Um, let's do it. Galen? I will launch the poll now. I will then read the questions as I did on the last one. They will sound very familiar. Okay, launching the poll now. And the text is too small for me to read on a, tel on a, cell on a t telephone, but it basically says, should we call the Reverend Jennifer Innes to be our next settled minister? Question one, to be responded by the first person on your device, yes or no? Question two, to be responded by the second person on your device. There is no person two on this device is the first answer. The second answer is yes. The third answer is no. Person three, there is no person, or question three, is how does the person three vote? There is no person three on this device, yes or no. Again, only vote no, or, or only vote no if you really mean no for the minister. Otherwise choose there is no person three on this device or person two on this device. Okay, now we will wait for the count and our percentage. We need a drum roll. Again, thank you all. It's been very exciting to have so many people join us this way. So we will have the results of the people on the Zoom video chat as well as the telephone people here in a moment. Yeah, we will wait for the telephone. And as you can imagine, the telephone takes a little longer because it has to be a secret ballot and so Austin is asking everybody one at a time. Yes. We are at two minutes here. It seems like most people have answered that are going to answer. I will wait another 10 seconds. So just to let everyone know, uh, after Galen has compiled all of the results, I will be giving Reverend Jennifer a call and I'm gonna invite her back. Um, so if, if you would like to celebrate with her, as long as we vote yes for this, uh, then stay on the line. Yeah, and we will unmute the line so you can all actually cheer her. I'm closing the poll. And tabulating the results. Austin is back, it looks like. I am back and I am um, muting everyone real quick because the phones need to. Wait, we're not finished tabulating. Just give us a second here, Austin. Okay, I will unmute the people that need to be unmuted. So.
Yes. Okay, the results are tabulated. Oh, right. the result. the results are tabulated. Um, okay, Nora, I will text you the results. All right, folks, hold on. We're waiting. Should have got the text, Nora. <laughs> I don't have it yet. <laughs> Come on. Okay, folks. Woohoo! We have passed. Yay! Yay! Woo! 99%. Yay! <laughs> With one vote, with one no vote, that I think was probably a, a mistake. But <laughs> ninety-nine percent. This is a fantastic. Thank you all. I'm emotional. <laughs> I'm unmuting everybody so we can all share. Hallelujah. All right, Jennifer Innes is now joining us. Jennifer, I don't see her. Jennifer, be on the main screen. I'll find her video when I find her. Except in ninety nine percent. Miss Jennifer. She's smiling. <laughs> so much pen to driver and Jennifer. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute everybody so that Jennifer can speak. Yeah. Jennifer. We just leave it. Yeah, just leave. Okay, everybody should be muting. I have to find Je Jennifer. <laughs> I cannot find Jennifer. Oh, there she is, unmuting. Now okay. I'm like, okay, Jennifer, you're speaking. Arf, um, thank you. And I hear that there's a pretty good vote, and yes. How about that for a yes? Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Yay. 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 <laughs> wow, such a good job, everybody, for navigating all of this. And uh, let's see, can someone, I guess someone can, can you pin, can, can someone pin me so everybody can see? I'm trying to find you. Spotlight video. Okay, you're spotlighted. All right. Thank you. There we are. And thank you. Thank you. And so just to be, so you the first look at actually the family as well. So we have Nate and Patrick and Abby, and we're all happy to, uh, all happy to be here and all happy to be going to Peoria. This is, yay! <laughs> We can, Abby can't wait to have a house. So, yay. Um, so yes, 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 yes. If there's any question, yes. Thank you. I accept. Thank you. That's wonderful. Are there are there any questions for our we new? Can't, we can't quite see Nate. Can we bring Nate into the picture? There he is. All right, you see the whole family now. Oh, we can't wait to welcome you guys. All right. Um. Uh. Yeah, so I guess we're here. Congratulations on doing all of this. I mean, this is phenomenal uh, to have accomplished this in, in the moment and all of the technical challenges. Um, so thank you to all the entire search team and everybody who is helping with the tech and to Nora and the board for you know, your support about the process as well. Um, just really, yay. Yes. <laughs> I think we all feel... Can we open up so we can all congratulate her? I am unmuting everyone now. So it's been very yes. exciting. Yes. Yay. 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 
Hi, 10 year old. And I just don't know why I, the sound went down. Okay, I'm muting everybody. Sorry. <laughs> Jennifer, if you have any other comments or if you would like to offer a benediction, and then I need a motion to adjourn in a second. So, but people can stay on longer if they want. Okay, now I can, un I can, I was able to unmute myself. Um, uh, let's see, I don't know, I have a whole lot of other comments to say at this point. I really look forward to uh, arriving and we'll be in the process of uh, all the relocation that's involved. Um, and finding creative ways to do that as well in this time. Um, yeah, I think that's good. So, if I may, uh, just expressing gratitude for the opportunity to enter into a new ministry together from all that is within us, from all that we share among us, that we may send that forth to everything that is lays before us in the future, in the time to come, Blessings upon our new ministry together. So may it be. Thank you. And at this point, I will entertain a motion to adjourn this meeting. I move to adjourn. This is Galen Fadley. Second. Andy Peterson, I second. All right. All in favor, holler out a mute, please. Yay. 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 Well done. And I could, I could flip through all the. Welcome to the area. Kind of a rowdy bunch. See you soon, Jennifer. <laughs> Just, uh, That's it. I don't have to do anything else. Today. And I don't that was all I, I needed to do. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Do you have a question? Okay, I think we might be done. People can, can leave if I have a like. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Welcome. You want to visit? I have a question. Yes. Is there a question? Yeah. I have a question. Yeah, yes. Go, go ahead. I am Carol Coy. I got kicked out of the system before I could vote. <laughs> so oh, really? No. That, so that no vote is probably it should have been a yes vote. Door. I closed the front door. I closed oh, the back door. It was, it was like Thank you, Carol. Degrees. Just, just I know I got kicked out right like before I was supposed but to it's, vote. It's oh. We had rain last night. <laughs> so I think we you have rain 100 percent. Uh, very little. Wow. <laughs> that yeah, sounds good. Must have been ours from last Folks, night. Um, send you out and I were had gone schedule next week but we'll let you know when she's in town she officially will start on august 1st yep. we'll be hearing from her before then so thank you all thank you all right austin should we end the meeting all right i'm uh, ending the meeting thank you all everybody thank you Oh, oh. Meeting, and we are gone.